We are so, so close to 14,000 subscribers. Help us get there. And if you want the best Celtics coverage on YouTube, you've come to the right place. Go down and subscribe to the channel right now. I am Will Scott. Welcome in to Celtics Today. We're doing something a little bit different today. We're actually going to have a preview video for you guys, previewing this Celtics-Cavaliers game on Friday night. We're filming this Thursday night. Game is about 24 hours away at this point. The C's coming in 3-1. and one. So are the Cavs. So certainly an intriguing matchup in this one. The game will be at TD Garden in Boston. Uh, the C's returning to TD Garden after that little road trip. I want to know before we get into today's show, who do y'all got? Do you have the C's or do you have the Cavs? Type BOS for the Celtics or type CLE for Cleveland down in the comment section. Go down, let me know who you have in this matchup of two, three, and one teams. The Celtics did get handed their first loss of the season on Monday night against Chicago. They jump out to this 19 point first quarter lead and it evaporated very quickly. The Bulls go on to win. 120 to 102. You had Joe Mazzulla ejected. Grant Williams ejected as well. And as a result of that ejection, he has been suspended for this game tomorrow night uh, against Cleveland, um, which I'm sure we all have pretty strong opinions about not just him getting ejected, but also suspended. NBA, uh, the NBA press release said this Boston Celtics forward Grant Williams has been suspended one game for recklessly making contact with and directing inappropriate language toward a game official. Reckless contact? Reckless contact are the words you're going to use? How do you look at that sequence and come up with reckless contact? He barely grazed the official. It was an accident. If you watch the video uh, from the sideline angle of this, he actually, the baseline angle, he actually was trying to avoid contact with the official. He was like trying to get out of her way. Reckless contact that is an absolute joke. Now, we don't know the language he said. He might have used inappropriate language that contributed toward not only the ejection but the suspension. But from the video that we've seen, to call that reckless contact is a joke. Adam Himmelsbach had this as well because I did mention that Joe Mazzulla was ejected due to two technical fouls. Per source, the second technical foul Celtics coach Joe Mazzulla received in Monday's loss to the Bulls has been rescinded by the NBA, removes the fine for the second tech and ejection. Well, how about that? So, how about you? How about you suspend the refs? I mean, from this from this previous game. What drives me crazy, what blows my mind, is that if a coach, if a player criticizes an official, they're probably going to get suspended or at least fined. But a referee crew can have that abysmal performance on Monday night and face no consequences. Man, it's just an absolute joke. Uh, so Joe Mazzulla had that rescinded. He doesn't have to pay a fine. He should not have been ejected to begin with. He got ejected in a crucial point in the game in the third quarter. I'm at a loss for words how bad that officiating crew was on Monday night. Luckily, you're not going to have the same crew tomorrow night against Cleveland. So let's take a look here what to watch for in this game. Number one, we begin with Jason Tatum. Can he continue this hot streak of it he's had to begin the season? He has been phenomenal, putting up MVP-level numbers 32 and a half points per game through the first four games, three and a half assists per game, over eight rebounds per game, and he's shooting 55.6% from the floor. Monster numbers for Tatum, man. We knew he was going to have an MVP caliber season coming in. It's early, but he's certainly on the right track. Is Jason Tatum going to win MVP? Type Y for yes. Or type HY for LES. Of course, Jason Tatum is going to win MVP. What a start to the season it's been for number zero. Hopefully, he has a big night on Friday against Cleveland. I think he will. Let's get into our number two storyline here. This is it going to be the Sam Hauser show tomorrow night? The reason I say that is because Hauser's been shooting the basketball uh, very well, number one. Number two, Grant Williams is out. So, Sam Hauser's probably going to fill that void at the four. Here is what he's done. Thus far this season, four and a half points per game, one rebound per game, seven of 11 from three, man. 8.6 minutes per game is all he's getting, though. So I think Sam Hauser needs to have an increased role in this team. We saw him shoot the lights out of the ball during the preseason. We've seen that early in the regular season. Use this game to get Sam Hauser more involved. You don't have an excuse to have him just play eight or nine minutes in this game. 
Grant Williams is out. Sam Hauser should at least get 15 minutes in this basketball game. I want to see what he can do. He is a lethal shooter off the bench. And you lost an Elo Gallinari for the year. And I understand you brought in Blake Griffin as kind of that replacement. But Gallo can, or I should say that, uh, that Hauser can shoot a lot better than Griffin. More like Gallo. He might be the better Gallinari replacement. Number three is Donovan Mitchell. I mean, what a start that he's had to his season as well. Not quite the start that Tatum has had, but he's still been really, really good. 28.5 points per game through the Cavs' first four games. 7.2 assists per game, 5 rebounds per game, 44.3% from three. Against Orlando last night, he, he kind of cooled off a little bit, but the numbers uh, in the first four, still very impressive. The Cavs beating the Magic last night. You got to slow this guy down. You can't let him drop 30. You can't let him drop 40. Even if you do, I'm sure that Tatum and Brown can, can make up for that with their own performances. But I feel like if you slow Donovan Mitchell down and prevent him from dropping a 30 or 40 piece, you're going to win this basketball game rather comfortably. And if you feel pretty good about the Celtics' chances on Friday night against Cleveland, you can bet on this game at chatsports.com slash bet. That's the promo code right there to pick up a 125% deposit bonus. That means if you put in $100, you're going to start with $225 in your account. It's a great deal. Go and take advantage. Chatsports.com slash bet is the link. Number four thing to watch for, maybe my concern in this, in this matchup for the Seas, is the matchup down low. I think the Cavs have the clear advantage there when you look at their starting big men in Jared Allen and Evan Mobley. Evan Mobley had a Rookie of the Year caliber season last year, did not win the award, uh, but he was fantastic, and Jared Allen is another really good young big man for them. So I would say, especially with you know Al Horford playing the five and uh, Robert Williams out for the foreseeable future, the Cavs certainly have the advantage down low. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how the C's kind of, um, kind of match up with those two guys. Number five thing to watch for is the bench scoring. Uh, how does Malcolm Brogdon, Blake Griffin, Sam Hauser, how do those guys get involved in this game? We haven't seen a whole lot of Blake Griffin in his early Celtics career through four games. I want to see him a little bit more, especially with Grant out. So how's the bench? You know, Because Grant Williams has been, has been maybe the best guy off the bench this year for the season, at least second behind Brogdon. But I want to see Brogdon have a good game. I want to see Sam Hauser and Blake Griffin get more involved in this basketball game as well. Uh, Derek White will, will be starting, but he's certainly a guy uh, to watch for as well here. He's been pretty good. Guys, go down in the comment section. Predict the score. Celtics, Cavs, who do you got? What is going to be the score in this game? Curious to hear what you'll have to say down in the comment section. How are we feeling? Do you feel like the Celtics are going to bounce back? It's been an interesting layoff here. Their last game was Monday. Now they're playing on Friday. I think the Seas are going to get the win here at home. 117 to 109. My prediction in this one, I think Tatum has a really good game. Brown has a really good game. Bold prediction? You, you taking notes here, producer Patrick Seaman? Sam Hauser drops 15 points tomorrow night. He's going to have a really, really impressive game.